What do you feel in the environment of your, 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 your the mobile people and, and this, this thing of where your career was just going and going and going and, and stratosphere and then it derails as far as what's going on on the field. I mean, do you feel like, the, do you find out who your friends are? Do you feel like the, you don't care what people think? And, and that's one obstacle you have to overcome early in a career as to be a professional is put that on the back burner about public opinion or does, does it matter to you? To be honest, I don't get into what, uh, what, about peop what people say about me uh, because I know deep down inside that if they saying those bad things, they don't really know me. They don't know the person that I am, uh, nor the things that I've dealt with, you know, in my life as a young, at a young age. Uh, they just give me fuel to keep going. You know, uh, I lost a few family members within the last past, you know, year or so. Three, two uncles in three months to the same exact date. Uh, a year before that, I lost my godmother. And uh, some months after my uncles, I lost a good friend. And uh, being a young, the youngest one in the family, but everybody looking up to you for answers. I haven't even lived their, their life yet. So it, it, it's, it's different. You know, uh, when people have voiced their opinion, that's their opinion, I can't do nothing about it. But uh, most of the time, they're not right about what they're saying. To go into a job like that with the demands of what they did at you at Oakland, just basically gave you the offense and, and, and said, here, here's the franchise. Uh, but understand that you're a young man and understand that there were other things going on in your life like somebody just put a big deposit in your bank and and you had now the ability to go out and buy things that you never ever had before you you got to that moment and then the if you will the word has been used before entourage that you see with professional athletes the people around you that you know that that just always are with you but for whatever reason if, if it's an NBA player or a professional wrestler it doesn't ma matter uh, there's just distractions that come with that. D does that all come into play as to maybe what? Uh, not on my behalf. Uh, I call the guys my family. I don't wouldn't, wouldn't call it entourage. Uh, I have a guy, Jeffrey Martin, he's been my roommate in college. Uh, Marcus Campbell, I call him my brother. Uh, we grew up together, went to high school together. He's been there for me uh, throughout my college years. He's one of the only guys that really came to a lot of my games. Even when I wasn't playing as a freshman on the bench, he came to those games. So, uh, and my dad, he's around a lot. And uh, one, another one, my good friend Marcus, and Kurt, those like really the guys who I, you know, really be around. But uh, those guys not going to practice with you. Those guys, you know, not waking up at five o'clock in the morning to go get on the treadmill or to go to do this. So, I wouldn't really want to say they're a distraction or, to, or for anybody. How about the money? Uh, at a young age, it is. You pick up some habits as far as going out, want the best of everything. Uh, it's, it's a habit that <laughs> once you do it, it's like you're stuck in it. And it's hard to come away from that. Uh, always being me, I'm take care of my family regardless. Uh, no matter what, it's hard to say no to your family, uh, especially when you know they need it. So that's a really big thing that, you know, can really get you. As far as what happened in the summer, and, 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 and we all know that the legal side of it, and I've spent some time with Mr. Briskman and, and, and everything worked out, but unfortunately the image did not, it, it did not work out for you. I mean, you seem to be. It wasn't, it wasn't me, but it, it, it betrayed to be. It, it seems to be that you're like the poster boy of purple drank. I mean, and, 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 and that can't be a good feeling but for you. <laughs> I mean. it's, not a, it's not a good, you know, good look, you know, as far as for me and my family. And what I represent, you know, uh, I'm going everywhere around the world, and uh, some people you know, throw it, throw it at me as a joke, but I don't take it as a joke. You know, it's, it was caught up in the middle of something that, from the get-go, I felt it wasn't for me. I just got caught up in the middle of it. Do you feel that there are a lot of people out there want to see you fail? I really do. I hear it, hear it every day. For some of the people you wouldn't believe who I hear from <clears throat> by being around them, it's just like they, they didn't do it in their life, so it really doesn't matter if I succeed or not, but they'd rather not see me do it. 